Yeah, you can do the next question though, Brother Robert. Yep, okay. go for it. <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. So was there a Moses on earth at the time? Do you have any thoughts about that? Or? That's a good question. So basically, who would qualify as Moses, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, that's a good question. Was there even was, or, you know, yeah, that's a really good question. Hmm. Look at Matthew chapter 6, was 16? Yeah, Matthew 16. Look at Matthew chapter 16. Good question. We'll look at the book of Matthew. Chapter 16. Okay. So let me clean this board just a bit. <coughs> so what must be understood is that when people talked about Elijah... That was the primary figure they were looking for more than Moses. That was the primary figure. You might say, why? So keep your hand on Matthew 16 and go to the last chapter of Malachi. Go to the last chapter of Malachi. Because it was more specific concerning about Elijah coming. That's what must be understood. Now this might help you though, okay? So why wasn't Moses mentioned? Why wasn't Moses mentioned? Why is it more Elijah as a focus? One, because Malachi stressed more about Elijah. We're going to look at the book of Malachi, chapter 4, and look at verse 4. Remember ye the law of Moses my servant, which I commanded unto him in Horeb for all Israel, with the statutes and judgments, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. So notice right here that Elijah is more of the priority because it's more specific. That's the reason why. But here's something that's interesting. I think it's in Mark 1, if not Matthew 3. Let me look at Matthew 3 first, though. Uh, yes, so Mark 1 would be better. Go to Mark chapter 1. We're going to look at Mark chapter 1. And then probably we'll jump to John chapter 1, probably as well. But let's first look at Mark chapter 1. Mark chapter 1, and then let's see right here. No, they did not ask him the question here, so it's going to be John 1. So they didn't ask him here. It's going to be John 1 then. I thought they asked him here. So it's, most, so it's going to be likely John 1. All right, John chapter 1, look at the questions that they ask John the Baptist. So look how they asked him. We're going to read verse 21, verse 21. Notice right here that in verse 21, and they asked him, what, what then art thou? Now, who's the first person they ask? It's not Moses, it's what? Elias. Elias, see? So Elijah's a priority. Why? Because he's the more specific. This does not mean, though, that other uh, predictions are not mentioned. Yeah, because think about this. There's someone that the Jews should be waiting more than Elijah do you know who they're waiting for more? The Messiah. Ultimately, it's the Messiah. But that doesn't mean that the Messiah is ignored or Moses or the other prophets are ignored. It's just that Elijah is more specific. It's more specific. Let's look at, because Malachi 4, it pointed out that Elijah would make way for the coming of the Lord. John the Baptist, he was making way for the Messiah. So what's the first thing on their mind? Elijah. That's the thing. It's not Moses right here. Moses, what was he uh, giving the laws and the ordinances? Uh, let's keep reading. John chapter 1. So Elijah, but they're not finished. And he saith, I am not. Art thou what? That prophet. And he answered, no. See that? So he's not done. Uh, let's see right here. 
Verse 25, they asked him and said unto him, Why baptizest thou then, if thou be not that Christ, see the Messiah, nor Elias, see that's Elijah, neither notice right here what? Prophet. That prophet. So it could be that Moses is referring to that prophet. That could be it. But let's look at Matthew 16 as well. Look at verse of 13, Matthew 16, 13. We're going to look at Matthew chapter 16, and then we'll read verse 13. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked of his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they say, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others... Jeremiah's or one of the pro prophets. So look at this. People were expecting not only Elijah. They were looking for Elijah, the Messiah, or some other prophet out there. And then the Bible told you that Moses in Malachi chapter 4 was the one right there. Malachi chapter 4. Why would it make sense that Moses would have to be there? Because Malachi 4 mentioned to remember him. Revelation chapter 11 said the waters would be turned into blood from these two witnesses. One of them Elijah, the other one has to be Moses. Another thing, Jesus, uh, what do the Jews stress so much upon? About Moses, about Moses, upon the law of Moses. Jesus said if you believed Moses, you would have believed me. Abraham, what did he say in Abraham's bosom? They have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. So Moses is a very pivotal pivotal figure among the prophets, you must understand. This doesn't mean that Moses was not mentioned. Who would have been Moses? So here's the thing. That's where it gets interesting. So John the Baptist, he would have been Elijah. You might say, really? Yeah, because Jesus said so. I think it's at Matthew 17. Let's take a look at that one. Let's take a look. I think it's in Matthew 17. Yep, Matthew chapter 17. And then we'll read verse 10, Matthew chapter 17, verse 10. And his disciples asked him, saying, Why then say the scribes that Elias must first come? Jesus answered and said unto them, Elias truly shall first come and restore all things. But I say unto you that Elias is come already. But who is this? Verse 13. Then the disciples understood that he spake unto them of who? John the Baptist. So he would have been Elijah. So then, who would have been Moses, right? That begs the question right there. Who would have been Moses? Perhaps Moses would have came later on, after Jesus Christ. He did his, uh, if John the Baptist, actually, excuse me. If John the Baptist continued living uh, after Jesus died on the cross, then perhaps Moses would have been somehow brought up later on over there. Maybe, that's, maybe that could have happened. Maybe a good candidate, maybe, I don't know, but maybe a good candidate could have been Paul. Why? Because Paul was a Pharisee of the Pharisees. He abided by the law more than any other person. So maybe Paul would have been a good candidate for that one. I don't know. But this is all just guesswork. We don't know. But these are interesting thoughts to think about right here. I do know, though, for a fact, if the Jews received their Messiah, like they were supposed to at the book of Acts, think about it, Acts 7 was the final point God gave to them. Acts chapter 7, when they stoned Stephen. But the Bible said, who was there during the stoning of Stephen? Paul. That's what the Bible says. Paul was there, holding the coats of his murderers. Why would he be there at a pivotal timeline where God is about to, where he could have raptured the Jews or something like that? Yeah, something, so maybe he could have been one. He could have been one. Because he was a hardcore, diehard Jew, actually. All right, Brother Tom. I actually have a quick question. Mm -hmm. Are they saying, like, when, when we say John the Baptist is Elijah, are mm -hmm. they saying that he's, he's fulfilling the role of Elijah, or is he literally, like, the spirit of Elijah in John? So uh, he would have fulfilled the role of Elijah. So it's like Elisha. He begged Elijah for a double portion of his spirit. So then Elijah's spirit would have been manifested in John the Baptist as well. So it could have been the same thing with Paul through Moses, yeah. But then what's interesting is that if you look at Matthew 17, Elijah and Moses literally came down off the mount to talk to Jesus, literally. And then Jesus said that Elijah would have been, John the Baptist would have been Elijah. 
So inserting the fact that Elijah and Moses will have to literally come down then. It's not going to be someone else fulfilling that role. Yeah, so he would have been. Okay, very good question. That was fun.